That's it! I've got it! Finally! Tonight might be Halloween, but I call it Science Christmas! <laughs> oh, what do you mean? What is that? A very rare specimen of super special testosterone concentrate. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. That is amazing. Where'd you get it? Aha! Uh -huh. This, my friend, came from a giant gorilla with testicles the size of coconuts. He was found on an uncharted island, and they say he was super aggressive, super strong, and virtually indestructible! They needed an F-18 to take him out! Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? Oh, it's the missing ingredient I needed for my X-22 serum. With this, we'll be able to create super aggressive, super strong, and virtually indestructible super soldiers! <laughs> super soldiers? Yes! We're gonna sell this serum to the army and we'll be rich, rich, rich! <laughs> okay. Wait, watch this, watch, I'll show you. Now I'll just put some super strong giant gorilla testosterone and yeah, and a dash of mad pig saliva. There's a pinch of local organic artisanal gluten powder. And of course, just a touch of vanilla extract just for flavor. And voila! Go on, try it! What, are you crazy? There's no way I'm drinking that. But we have to test it! Well, let's test it on rats like we always do. Test it on rats? I'm not trying to make super rats, you idiot! I'm trying to make super humans! I need a skinny little wimp to try it out on your perfect with this! Go on, try it! Try it! Hey, wait a minute! I'm not a wimp! Of course you are! Look at you! They're even scared of trying this little drinky poo. I'm, I'm not scared! I'll give it here! There, did you... It's working! It's working! It's... This is not working that well. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. How much for the zombie costume? <sighs> well, the price is right on at twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine? That's crazy. No way this is worth that much. Look, kid. I don't make the prices. I just stick them on. Tell you what, I'll give you five bucks for it. Hey, kid, this isn't a flea market. Either pay the price that's on it or don't buy it, okay? $12.99 for some stupid, dirty, ripped up rags. Come on, that's highway robbery. That's what a zombie costume is. It's supposed to be ripped up and dirty. According to your store policy, you have to do everything possible to satisfy the customer. I want you to look at my face right now. Do I look satisfied? I don't think so. Listen, kid, we're closing in two minutes. Do you want the zombie costume or not? No, 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 no. Get me the manager. I want to talk to the manager. Right now. We want the manager! We want the manager! Uh. uh get me, baby, and touch me on my body. Oof. We're here! Where's here, Raul? Where else, Bozoli Gigolo's nightclub? Tonight's their Halloween wet t-shirt night. It's gonna be totally awesome. There's gonna be hot chicks everywhere. Johnny, imagine a Chinese buffet, but instead of egg rolls, there's gonna be boobs. <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind, Johnny boy. <laughs> and uh, you, you're gonna like it too, Brenda. Oh my God, did you guys see that? Some guy in a zombie costume just bit this girl's, like, arm. Oh, 
Brenda, 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 how many times I'm gonna tell you, when you're in your costume, you gotta feel your character. Live it all the way, you know. So, uh, if you want to, uh, <laughs> for example, suck me on my neck, uh, feel free to express yourself. Um, no thanks. Eh. R Raul, are you sure there's not a zombie theme tonight? Because it seems like there's an awful lot of people dressed like zombies. <laughs> Are you on the list, man? What's your name? Ready, Daddy, yeah? Oh, yeah, here you are, Ready, Daddy, yeah? Have a good night. positive feedback on the customer satisfaction survey. Whatever, bye. $12.99, ridiculous. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, sorry, folks, we're closed. No, 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 you're not closed. It's, uh, still isn't, uh, 5 o'clock. My watch says it's 4.59. Well, my watch says it's 5.02. And mine says 5.05. <laughs> what do you know? Look, this is an emergency. My TV just died, and I need another one right now. Freddy 3 is on at 8 o'clock. There's no way I'm going at night without TV. Yeah, and I need some spray net. I used the last of my hairspray this morning. Come back tomorrow, folks. We open at 8. There'll still be lots of TVs and spray net guaranteed. Hey, enough with the power trip, pal. It'll only take a minute. We're just buying a TV and three or four bags of chips. And some spray net. Look, all the caches are closed. <laughs> Look, Walter, there's a bunch of people dressed like zombies. Oh, yeah, it's Halloween, Martha. <laughs> they're attacking people. Hey, they're going crazy. Hey, 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 let us in, pal. Uh, open the door, hurry up. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? Overboard with their costumes. Oh no. I know zombies. Those aren't costumes. Those are real zombies! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! My fellow Canadians, as I speak to you right now, we face a grave situation. Our beautiful country is presently under attack by zombies multiplying at an incredible rate. But have no fear, a special committee of our top scientists is working round the clock to find a solution to this weird inconvenience. Until they do, I'm gonna recommend that each and every one of you barricade yourselves into your homes, especially those of you who voted for me in that last election. My friends, we will not yield to zombieism. No matter what happens, do not panic. Oh my god, zombies? What the frig are we gonna do? Oh, calm down, Brenda, it's gonna be okay. Come on, Raul, get us out of here. Guy, are you crazy? Uh, there's a bunch of them right in front of my car. Uh, I'm not running them over, they're all gross and goopy. They'll get my beamer all dirty. Hey, hey, I know her. We, we met in a bar last week. I almost slept with her. Hey, hey, beautiful, remember me? It's sexy Raul. So, uh, hey, uh, you, you want to play with my hose? <laughs> my hose. Because I'm, I'm dressed up like a fireman, see? Raul, like, roll up your window. Okay, okay. I'm only trying to have some fun for once. Treat. We want candy. We want candy. We want candy. Get off my property, you goddamn zombies. Whoa. What's your problem, Henry? Have you lost your mind? Wait a minute. You mean you're not zombies? Uh, yeah, we're zombies. No, I mean, you're, you're not real zombies. You know, the ones that bite and attack people, like the TV says. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, 
Wow, yeah, you guys really scared me with those cheap costumes. <laughs> hey, I paid twelve ninety nine for this costume plus tax. Me too, me too. Now go get us some candy and make it snappy. We gotta hustle if we're gonna break even. Oh, did, did, didn't you see the news? There's zombies all over the place. I mean, really real zombies, the biting ones. Now don't stay outside, kids. You gotta go home right now. Wow. That's good. That's a good one. I'm gonna give you points for creativity, but it's not gonna work on us. So go get some candy and make it quick, because we're really falling behind schedule here. Chop, chop! Hey, who's this guy? Ah! Oh, it's a real zombie! Get inside, kids, quick! Hurry! Okay. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that if this totally gross man bites me, that I'll turn into a totally gross man too? That's it. Oh my God, fellas, what are we gonna do? Oh, we need to act now, Mr. Prime Minister. Contamination has spread all the way up to Nunavut. Now this morning, a man woke up and found a zombie in his god darn igloo. Oh no. Yes! We need to tell everyone who hasn't been infected to hide in their basements while we bomb the entire country with napalm! No, no, I, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I might have a solution, Mr. Prime uh, Minister. We analyzed the zombies' blood cells and created a serum that should turn them back into normal people, exactly as, as they were before. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Now watch this. Um... Okay, well, besides his hair, which is quite something. He hasn't changed that much. I mean, was he this ugly before? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the dose probably wasn't strong enough. Just a second, let's see here. Oh, all right, I, I think I need a breather. And uh, it looks like he could use one too, so let's uh, take five. We have no other choice, Mr. Prime Minister! We need to burn, roast, and barbecue each and every god darn last one of these undead scumbags! <laughs> My flames are Alright, okay, but just hold on now. I mean, they might be zombies, but they're still potential voters. We can't just blow them all up. Yes! Yes, we can! We have to bomb them all! <laughs> Die, you zombie shit! <laughs> Good God, zombies! This is the end of the world! Did you find a TV, Walter? I got my spray net! It's two for one, can you believe that? <gasps> oh, oh my God! Look at that umbrella! Oh, it goes so perfectly with our cushions, Walter! You know those little ones with the flowers on them? <laughs> well, you're gonna be totally stoked because it happens to be on sale this week and it comes with a free frisbee! What? An umbrella and a frisbee? Uh, we'll take it. We're buying it. This will show Rosalind who's the backyard boss. Oh, Martha, now is not the time for umbrellas that match your little cushions. The country's being invaded by zombies. This is the apocalypse. You won't see the neighbor again. She's probably already a zombie. <gasps> Rosalind's a zombie? Actually, that explains a few things. We're stuck here, Martha, and we're never getting out. Oh, my God, oh, my God. What's going to happen to us? I don't want to stay here forever! <laughs> oh, no, come on, Martha, don't cry, okay? We're not so bad off here. He's right. I happen to know uh, a thing or two about zombie movies. The best place to hide is in a huge store like this one. I took inventory this morning. We got enough food to last for another 500 years. Oh, you hear that, Martha? We get to spend the rest of our lives here. There's plenty of food. There's TV, all the Bruce Willis DVDs ever made. Toilet paper, Martha. As much as you want. Think about it. We've got everything we need. Well, I won't ever run out of spray it again, that's for sure. There you go. I'm telling you, Martha, this place is heaven. Especially if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. We're totally safe here. <laughs> yeah. Martha! Martha, do something quick! Hey, you zombie piece of poop! Get off of my hubby! <gasps> huh? What? What am I doing here? And, and why is my face covered in hairspray? Huh. Sorry about that, but two seconds ago you were a disgusting zombie who was trying to eat my husband. What? 
He's human again. What did you do to him? Yeah, hey, what'd you do to him, Martha? Nothing special. I just spritzed him in the face with some spray net. Whoa, you found the antidote, ma'am. Spray net hairspray. That's the antidote. No way. Ha! Ha! Die, you demons of the night. Whoa. I always knew you had bad taste. Is it ever ugly in here? Wow. Are you kidding me? The zombies trying to get in here and kill us. We can talk about my home decorating choices later, okay? Ah! 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 God damn it! Oh no! What the hell are you doing? Helping you fight the zombies. What do you think? No, not with my dishes. That was my mother's bone china. They're worth a fortune. Well, they can't be worth that much. They break pretty easy. What? Listen, go get my golf clubs. They're in the garage. Golf clubs? What are you talking about? Now's not the time to play golf. <laughs> oh, uh, not my soup terrine! Wow, that thing packs a hell of a punch. You got another one of those? No, no, I don't have another one, okay? And stop breaking my stuff! Don't! Oh, these little cups aren't as good as the big stuff. Hey, Sammy, maybe if we throw a bunch at the same time, that'll work better. Don't, 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 just, just put my china down! Oh, now we're in business. This thing is a lot heavier. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is a nightmare! I want to wake up! I want to wake up! I want to wake up! Oh, no, this isn't a dream, Brenda. No, you're wide awake. Uh, I don't want to die! I don't want to, like, die! Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. No one's going to die. The worst possible scenario is we get turned into zombies. It's not the end of the world. Oh my god. Well, look, I can picture it. Your hair is messy, you got the pre-ripped jeans, and with that little, little tongue hanging out. It's a hot look. It might be a step up from where you are right now. I'm just saying, no offense. Thank you. No problem. What are you doing, Martha? I'm calling the Prime Minister. We gotta tell him spring it's the antidote. English! You calling 411? Yeah, you, you, what, you think I got the Prime Minister's number? Yeah, you, you can't get in touch with the Prime Minister that way, Martha. Like you know. Prime Minister. I repeat, we have confirmation! It's a go from the Prime Minister for Operation Hales Mills! Ha 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 All planes are to take off immediately with an extra load of na 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 napalm! Ha 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 Uh, yes, hello? Oh, hello. Can I speak to the Prime Minister, please? That's me. Oh, hi, Mr. Prime Minister. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, who's this? It's Martha. Martha Johnson. I voted for you last fall. My husband didn't. Actually, he hates you. He thinks you're a corrupt bastard. Martha, do you just... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, I have some good news. I found a way to turn the zombies back into humans. You... You found an antidote? Well, just a second. Uh, General, abort the mission, abort the mission! Oh, no! Okay, I'm listening. Uh, tell me, what's the antidote? Spray it. The, the hair product? Yep. Spray it extra hold. Crazy, right? One little spritz in the face and poof! Turns them right back into normal. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you so much. Uh, General, I need a big plane and your best pilot. Oh, but right away, Mr. Prime Minister. <laughs> Uh, Henry, there's only a salt and pepper shaker and a couple sauces left. What do you want us to use next? You got another set of dishes? I, I, I told you 20 times already, kids. Just go and get my golf clubs. Ah! Enough with the golf. My God, it's not the time. Enough. Just... Ooh. Ah! thinking out loud, but uh, we should really take advantage of our final moments together. Uh, you guys ever have a three-way in a car before? Upside down? That's it, kids! We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! Samuel, hide behind me! Walter! Walter, give me another can! Hurry! 
street. Oh, we don't have any more. The car's totally empty. Oh my god, I'm gonna have it again. Oh, for Pete's sake. Attention, attention, this is Captain of Flight DC-132. All systems are a go for Operation Spraynet. <laughs> Fire Spraynet at will! My fellow Canadians, once again we have managed to overcome adversity thanks to the sheer determination of our fellow Canadians working together as a country. But it wouldn't have been possible if not for the incredible contribution of Mrs. Martha Johnson and her exemplary courage, intelligence, and quick thinking. <laughs> so, Mrs. Johnson, without further ado, I'm awarding you the Star of Courage. The Medal of Bravery, and a lifetime supply of Spraynet! Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I love you, babe! It's my wife. I know. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god.